The biggest thing you need to think about in terms of not damaging your voice is... Hi, Sarah here from Singer's Advice. Well, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video and get down and grab that free vocal course to get better power, tone and pitching in your voice. And you can grab that right now by clicking the link below. The biggest thing you need to think about in terms of not damaging your voice is stop worrying about it. If you use your voice, if you take the time to learn some technique, to be mindful about how you use your voice, if you don't max out on effort levels, because effort levels are the biggest, most important thing you need to start thinking about to make sure that you take care of that voice. Voices are meant to be used. And yes, sometimes we can do things that make them tired or we overuse them, we overdo it, we overpractice, we over sing, we might start trying new things and our voices start going, oh, I'm not too sure about this. But I think as long as you approach it with care and you look after it, you know, you stay well hydrated, you know, drink enough water throughout the day, Use a steamer. A steamer is direct, the only direct hydration to your vocal folds. So you definitely need to get a steamer. If you haven't got a steamer, um, grab one of those and I'll do a video all about my love of my steamer <laughs> and how it really does make a massive difference to singing, to speaking, to, you know, acting, whatever it is that you do and you wanting to um, get a better voice and not to damage your voice, do a stretch on a morning. Don't forget about the physical body. Don't forget the voice is not just about the larynx. There's so much more to your voice than just your larynx. So making sure you physically look after yourself, you know, stretching, turning, doing some, you know, spine mobility exercises, really kind of like thinking about the core and and for the posture, for everything, for all the muscles that need to work. We've got to put in the body work as well as the voice work to get a really kind of the best voice you're going to get and you're going to look after it better. If you're fit and healthy, your voice is going to thank you for it. You're going to be a lot happier in yourself. Your body's going to feel good. Your voice is going to feel good. It's going to be able, able to deal with the demands that you put on it. Warm up your voice. Yeah, some singers don't even, don't warm up the voice. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's just not a routine thing for them. But for me, a warm up is not only a warm up for the voice, it's a warm up for your mind. It gets you connected. It gets you ready and prepared for what it is you're about to do. Um, you know, that transference from speaking to singing or that transference from your everyday life, you know, whatever goes on in that, you know, work, kids, life stuff, you know, transferring over to performance mode, to getting into singing mode, to getting into focus. Warm-ups are so much more than just warming up and doing a few scales, yeah? You can really focus on specific things for whatever it is you want to work on in that session or what you're going to sing in that performance, getting your set up, you know, you can set your voice up in a way, ready for what you're about to do. So thinking about that, getting your mind focused, all these things are going to help you support your voice and that's going to help you to not get any vocal damage. Be mindful about the amount of time you use your voice. So if you use your voice all day long, for example, I am a singer and a vocal coach. I go out to different schools, universities, colleges and teach and sometimes I could be teaching for seven hours a day without much of a break. Now that is not good <laughs> but sometimes that's just how it is. So you have to learn to use your voice in a way that you know is going to effectively get you through those hours. Yeah you know I've had weeks where I've taught every single day and then Friday night you know after maybe 
hours of teaching, go and do a gig, go and do a performance for another three hours. That's a lot of vocal use. So learning how to use your voice, having good technique, knowing how to project your voice without pushing, knowing how to use your voice without over pushing air, about with using your vocal folds in a way that you are most comfortable effort level all the time, you know, just really working those things out and taking care of it. It's not going to just be an endless thing. You know, you have to be mindful. If it's feeling tired, then rest. If you can't rest, then you have to do the things like steaming and being careful and resting when you can. Limits kind of like shouting or if you're a shouty kind of person, learn how to shout with good technique <laughs> and at most comfortable effort level because shouting or talking over loud music, you know, if you go out and you're trying to talk over loud music, even with the best technique, you are going to find that tiring and it's going to be a struggle. So you've really got to kind of look at lifestyle things, watching out for overuse, over vol putting too much volume on things when you don't need to. Make sure you've got good technique for things like, you know, really kind of powerful singing, belting, get some vocal coaching, learn the technique because we don't want to be pressing down on those vocal folds. We want to be using them in a nice, healthy way. You can be loud and be healthy. So let's, you know, look at ways of which to use your voice that you're not going to hurt it. You know, if it's feeling scratchy, if it's feeling like, you know, burning or hurting or that's, you know, that you're not doing something cool. You know, you need to like back off. You need to think again. We need to look at the technique. We need to look at what might be going wrong there bring it back, look at the effort levels, move forwards from there. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon at Singer's Advice. Don't forget to grab your free vocal course by clicking the link below to really get great power, tone and pitching for your voice. I'll see you again soon at Singer's Advice. Mm -hmm.